Hello, uh, it's just a quick one to show you how to make a really, really useful compound um, that I, I sort of I've, I've taken out with me before. Um, what you're going to need, first of all, I'll just run through the, the bits you need. You need uh, just a tea light made out of beeswax, natural beeswax tea light, a knife, um, a plastic bowl. Um, this one, because we're doing it in a microwave rather than doing it the authentic way on a campfire, otherwise, you know, you just use a billy can or something as well. You need some kind of grater, and obviously, you can get mini ones of them that you can carry with you if you really fancy doing it in the field. And uh, here we've got some rendered pork fat and uh, some vitamin E oil as well I mean that's about a quid off the internet or something so you know easily available stuff um, right so first thing you do is run your knife around the outside of this like that and uh, that's it just pry the candle out of its container so you've just got the tea light and the silver foil container then run your knife around inside just under the little plate at the bottom which holds the wick get your knife under it like that and just ease it out making sure that you don't that's it there you go so you just get the wick container and the candle and uh, what you do is just get the container put the wick thing in there and we'll just leave that to one side for a minute with the little wick thing in there still so it's just holding itself up then what you do you can just do this with a knife but I mean like I say you wouldn't need a grater necessarily but take this get it on the probably best one to use is this one as you can see you used that for earlier and just grate your candle basically what we're going to do is just grate it down to about halfway and the reason we're doing it halfway is because we're only going to make one tea light so we're going to save the rest yeah so make sure you get all the stuff off the inside yeah. that's it so there's your wax now what you do is you get the equivalent amount of fat now this is quite a difficult one because uh, um you know what you're looking for basically is what's roughly half the size of a candle so what we'll do is we're doing a 50 50 pork fat and uh and wax mix so I reckon probably about that there and also what we're going to do is because this is a natural pork fat rather than shop bought lard we're just adding a few drops of vitamin E and um, I'll explain what that does later okay right and what we're going to do is just take this over here like I say because we're not doing this in the field we're doing it preparing it in advance that goes in the microwave and we bang that on for oh, few minutes I would say about three minutes or thereabouts should have it all melted up together okay but let's not turn that off actually because I don't want to waste electricity it's just to show you really because uh, then when we what we do when that's all sort of cooked up obviously we just pour it back into that mold and fill it up and what you wind up with at the end of it is this which is a sort of funny yellowy colored tea light but uh, I don't know if you can see that if I sort of mush my finger into it it's about the same consistency as Nick wax something like that and it's I mean in that form obviously it's not coming out, it's not going anywhere, it's still usable as a candle. Uh, you can, I mean, here we go, I'll, uh, I'll show you here. Here we go. Oh, my missus will kill me if she sees this up here. There's, so you get a finger full of it like that, just out of the corner, staying clear of the wick so that you can still use it as a candle later on. Just take a shoe like that and just rub it on like that same way you would with nick wax just with your finger and as you can see good waterproofing agent for leather and the beeswax the fat just really helps the beeswax sort of uh, you know loosen up and stay stay loose so you can so you can use it for this kind of thing but as you can see big difference really really strong sort of beeswax waterproofing formula vitamin e um i said i was explain is uh, basically it's good for things like um it's it's uh, i think it's an antioxidant it's good for skin in general so another use for this stuff is so if i just take a blob of that and put it on as you can see get a bit of psoriasis on the back of my hands so rub that into there i mean that on that not only acts as a moisturizer because of the fat the beeswax actually forms a protective layer over the skin as well so water actually starts to if you rub your hands in that in the morning when you get up while you're actually out and about doing stuff sort of out in a tent or under a tarp or whatever the, the water actually beads off your hands afterwards it's really it's it's good it's, it's important to look after your skin in situations like that um in addition to that we've got uh well if we just put it sort of larger knife 
here so I can see, show you just take a finger full of that um, this is made out of high carbon tool, tool, tool steel very very susceptible to rust um, just take a finger full of that swipe it down either side being very careful of the edge um, there you go so that's really good rust proofing for that that won't rust nothing will get through that once you put that something like that on the blade um, again uh, vitamin E like I say it acts as a preservative for this stuff as well um, you can use this on wood as well again you've got your little leather sheath there there's loads of, loads of uses I, I, I mean I, you, you'll find more while you're actually using it as well but I mean as well as that obviously you've got the, uh, the standard use for something like this which would be um, just to use it as a candle really apart from anything else so um, you've always got that basically so you can always there's always a candle there as backup light if your batteries and your torch go and things and um, you know in the meantime you know you just blow it out and, and uh, just wait for a little bit of wax in there that's uh, that's melted to settle chuck it in your rucksack with everything else in a little bag and uh, and you can carry on using it for all this stuff as well all right cheers